Welcome back, Cougs. I'm Luke Kilgore. And I am Alfonso Valdivia. Today, we're going to take a look at some WSU athletics from this past week and what's to come for our football team. The men's basketball team, after winning five games in a row, suffered two losses last week against the University of Arizona, 72-60, to and Arizona State, 58-55. to Last Thursday, they played the Wildcats, which promised to be the best game of the season for the Cougs. In the first half, the Cougars missed all 12 of their three-point attempts. In the second half, with 15 minutes remaining, Michael Flowers makes a layup to get just four points behind the Wildcats. With eight minutes remaining on the clock, WSU began to struggle, and Arizona took a 20-point lead. 22-point lead. Late in the second half, Mohamed Ogai suffered a left ankle injury and had to leave the game, finishing with nine points and five rebounds. Michael Flowers led the Cougars with 16 points and two rebounds followed by Noah Williams with 10 points and two rebounds. Still, the Cougars lost 72 to 60. Well, it was a tumultuous week to say the least for WSU women's basketball, as they hosted three straight games at Beasley Coliseum, starting with a crushing 83 to 30 loss to Oregon on Wednesday, in which star Wazoo guard Charlize Ledger Walker called the Cougs worst game of the season. Dreadful shooting by the Cougs, compounded with a 17 point outburst from India Rogers and strong post play from both Sedona Prince and Tahina Pow Pow spelled doom for Wazoo. However, like the resilient Cougs do, they bounce back for a heart racing comeback victory against UCLA on Friday. The game got off to a slower start in the first quarter as the Cougs outscored the Bruins 12 to 9. But we did get the feet work in the post from Bella Mutakatete on this bucket. The scoring picked up in the second as the Cougs did just enough to fend off UCLA including this corner tray from Charlize Ledger Walker. Cougs came out of the tunnel firing in the second half, and let me just say, you may think you're good, but Tedder is better, as she knocks down the wing three off the Ledger Walker dime. Take it to the fourth quarter, where UCLA searched for the comeback bid. Cougs started making mistakes, and before we knew it, the Bruins had taken a narrow lead. From there, this had all the makings of a prize fight, with both sides trading blows and the lead. This right here is where it gets spicy. UCLA up by two with seven seconds to go. Charlize with a tough fadeaway, air ball. But Sister Crystal is in the right place at the right time. Gets the board amongst the trees and puts it in and one, baby. Cougs win 66 to 65 at the literal last second on a cold-blooded performance from Crystal Ledger Walker. She ended the night with 22 points, five rebounds, and five assists. As if our blood pressure wasn't high enough, the Cougs hosted USC on Sunday afternoon for another nail-biter. The WSU women dominated the Trojans in the first half, outscoring them 36-22, thanks in large part to interior dominance by Bella Mutakatete. She scored 12 points on a perfect 6-for-6 six six from the field in those first two quarters. And then everything changed when the Cougs switched baskets and went ice cold in the second half, while USC went on the comeback attack, scorching the Nets for 20 points on 62% shooting in the third quarter. In the fourth, the Cougs continued to struggle, but got a couple key buckets from Johanna Tetter and a clutch free throw from Murica Tete to keep WSU up three. On the following possession, Crystal Ledger Walker stole a pass to seal the win, and the Cougs escaped Beasley with a 57-54 victory, sweeping USC on the season and sweeping the city of LA on the weekend. Charlize Ledger Walker led Wazoo with 20 points and 6 rebounds, while Bella Murakatete added 15 points and 9 boards. After an insane week, the Cougs can breathe until Friday when they host the Arizona State Sun Devils. The WSU football team and head coach Jake Dickert have an interesting recruiting class this year, highlighted by transfer four-star quarterback Tom Ward, who is transferring from Incarnate Ward to join his former head coach and new WSU offensive coordinator, Eric Morris. Ward threw for 4,648 yards and 47 touchdowns in 2021, and will start immediately in place of former Cook quarterback, Jaden DeLara, who transferred to Arizona. As for enrollees, an interesting addition is 6'6", six 230-pound six, tight end Andre Dollar from Mustang, Oklahoma. Dollar is a three-star recruit, ranked 23rd in the nation in his position, and is particularly interesting considering the Cougs are shifting from an offense that was absent of tight ends last season. Another high-ranked recruit is Ben Schlenbaker, 
a six foot, 220 pound running back from Squalicum High School in Bellingham, Washington. Also ranked three stars. Headlining the letter of intent signees is linebacker Tariq Alupta from Inglewood, California, and offensive tackle Eric Wilder from Syracuse, Utah. The Cougs recruitment class is ranked 64th in the nation and 9th in the Pac-12 this year. The Cougar track and field team split up, up into three separate squads for three different meets last weekend. Let's start with the Don Kirby Elite Indoor Meet in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The lone Coug medalist here was Mitch Jacobson, who took first place honors in the men's high jump with a leap of 2.15 meters. Next up was the Washington Husky Classic in Seattle. Several more medalists here, headlined by a new meet record by Sam Brixey and the men's 60 meter hurdles. Brixey's 7.71 seconds shatters the old record of 7.75. A Coug setting a record at the Husky meet. Who would have thought? Nick Johnson also took third in the same event with a time of 7.81. Michaela DeMello took third in the women's 60 meter hurdles with a time of 8.34 seconds. Zach Stallings took third, in the, took third place in the men's one mile run with a finish of three minutes, 57 seconds. The final meet was a Whitworth Indoor Invitational in Spokane. Skylar Walton won the women's 60 meter dash with a time of 7.55 seconds. Walton also took second in the 200 meter dash in 24.96 seconds. Joseph Heitman took second on the men's 60 meter hurdles with a time of 8.26 seconds. Mackenzie Fletcher won the women's 60 meter hurdles with a time of 8.76 seconds, while teammate Jasneet Nijar finished second in 8.88 seconds. High jumper Dalon Hicks won the competition with a height of 2.01 meters. Joseph Heitman took third in the men's long jump with 6.70 meters. Colby Weiss won the women's pole vault, springing to a height of 3.82 meters, while Lucas Talon got third on the men's side with 4.66 meters. Audrey Hughes blasted the competition in the women's shot put, winning with a toss of 14.27 meters. Marty Munyon took second in the men's weight throw with 16.47 meters. And finally, the Cougar women won the 4x400 meter relay with a time of 3 minutes, 47.84 seconds. This Thursday, it was announced that WSU ranked 39 on the 2021 Pac-12 Fall Academic Honor Roll. The student athletes are eligible to join the Honor Roll if they have a cumulative GPA of 3.3 or above and have attended the institution for at least one year. Or 39 WSU Honor Roll student athletes include 11 from football, 9 from women's soccer, 9 from women's cross country, 7 from men's cross country, and 3 from women's volleyball. Congratulations. Now, let's see what's happening next week as we send it to Sam for this week's Cook Outlook. What's up, Cougs? I'm Sam Taylor here with your Cook Outlook. Our men's golf and baseball teams are headed to Hawaii for some sun and success. Men's golf heads to Hawaii for the John Burns Intercollegiate Tournament on Thursday. For Cougar baseball, opening day is here. The Cougs will open their regular season with a four-game set against the University of Hawaii Friday through Monday. First pitch is set for 8.35 p.m. Pacific every day except for Sunday when first pitch will be at 3.05. After bouncing back from a rough outing with Oregon with two straight one-score wins over UCLA and USC last week, our women's basketball team will look to keep their winning ways as they host the Arizona schools this weekend. The Cougs will tip off at 7 p.m. Friday against Arizona State and at noon Sunday against the top team in the Pac-12 and number eight in the country, Arizona, at Beasley Coliseum. Our track and field team runs down to Arkansas this week for the Arkansas Qualifier on Friday. And our swimming team will compete in the Pac-12 Championships starting next Wednesday and hosted across the state in Federal Way, Washington. Our men's basketball team seeks to rebound after a rough weekend of losses. They'll attempt to do so against some talented and ranked teams in LA. They will face number 13 UCLA Thursday at 8 p.m. and will have a rematch with number 17 USC Sunday at 4.40 p.m. WC Wazoo Sports Network is on Twitter and Instagram. Follow us at Wazoo Sports Net and Wazoo Sports Network. Plenty more WSN content is on the Cable 8 YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Luke Kilgore. And I am Alfonso Valdivia. Have a good week, and we will see you back here with more sports updates from Wazoo Sports Networks. Go Cooks!